Welcome back everyone. So today we have my sketchbook from, I don't remember, I think I have the year in here, uh, January 2012. That's when it was started. So this one, like the other ones, are pretty lame. They, <laughs> they suck pretty bad, as you can see. So next page. Um, I used to draw a lot of eyes. I was really into drawing eyes, so this sketchbook probably has a lot of that going on. <laughs> Don't know how much, but yeah. I drew a little ninja here. I can't really see it there. It's kind of blown out. There you go. Let me move this. See if it works a little better. Mm, there you go. Alright, so random little sketches of like weapons and stuff and then this was like a reference page for me um i drew some more eyes just another reference page where i would like draw stuff from it this i was practicing some hands down here more reference um i tried drawing sandra bullock and it kind of looks like her not completely of course <laughs> But yeah, and then this was some random sketch, um, painting, watercolor, and then I wanted to do something with my, um, what do you call these, soft pastels, and then I sprayed it down with something random like always, some other stuff that I did, and then random little drawings again this weird frog looking man tech dude don't really know what to say about that <laughs> um this random weird looking thing bartholomew apparently that's what i have written on the bottom you can't really see it there you go kind of um this one i forgot her name but i drew her because she was really pretty uh it's a celebrity don't know her name. She causes a lot of drama. <laughs> but yeah. And then this one I was like super proud of at the time because I took up two pages drawing this. And he was like, you know, doing some music or something. So <clears throat> more ugly stuff. And I understand a sketchbook is supposed to be messy and whatnot, but mine were like super messy <laughs> this i think actually is not even set in yet i didn't spray it down yeah it's still messy to this day and this page is nonsense some more nonsense drawings um actually these drawings are not mine these are my little brothers <laughs> so he has cute little drawings and then i drew like a, uh, a, what is that? A bunny? I'm, I have no idea. Some sort of creature thing, looking elf. Well, I remember what I really loved about this drawing though, was the way I did his like <laughs> little mohawk here. That was like my favorite part of it. And then I drew, what's his name? Forgot his name. Um, yeah. And I can actually, at this time, I was I was kind of lazy because at this time I was really good at um, doing portraits. So I was kind of upset at the fact that I was super lazy and didn't do this the right way. But what are you going to do? I was lazy. And then another tree with watercolor. Some other stuff. Some mushy stuff from my boyfriend. A random drawing of some space girl type of thing. Another drawing of the space girl. Tried drawing a character. I don't know how much I do characters now. <laughs> Another random uh, picture. This one was one of my friends at the time. I drew him. Um, this is a random girl. Well, actually, I don't. I think this is me, or this was supposed to be me. <laughs> I'm not too sure, because I don't even remember my own drawings. Oh 
crap. Another side sketch. Um, kind of like a girl screaming with like humongous lips. Oh, maybe I should just turn it sideways. Um, more sketches. I remember the day I did this. It was the day that my art teacher took us to like a, um, art kind of convention type of thing but it was for students where they could like show their artwork and win stuff for it and i was sketching this as we were like looking at everything and my mind was just like wandering completely as you can see <laughs> this is this is some crazy weird stuff going on in this page have no idea can't even explain it more sketches this is a house i don't really want to turn it sideways it's just, just take my word for it the house <laughs> um more watercolor because i was testing out the watercolors that i got this is acrylic that i was i was trying to do like a background and then draw something on top but it didn't turn out so well because you can see the pencil but not really and then other weird things that i would draw up my sketchbooks are really strange. I have no idea why I would draw these things. Or, <laughs> like, here's a clear example. But I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm um, something different in the world. This is my boyfriend's sketch of himself with a huge mustache. I didn't know. It's another one of his sketches. This one I was like super proud of because it was so like even <laughs> I was like oh look I could do something pretty yay but um yeah I don't know if I continued that oh yeah I did with my new Prismacolor markers that I had gotten that Christmas um I think there's another one in here some more of this thing and stuff um this guy or this girl I was like super happy to draw this because I love Tim Burton and I always wanted to draw like something Tim burton esque and this is the closest I've gotten it's not really Tim Burton but it was like my own take on it and then I uh, practiced a little with like my own type of texture-ish type of thing so that's what came out and then I tried doing a comic here but I wasn't very good at comics and um, a blank page random things with um, this stuff which still hasn't set <laughs> I don't think it ever will unless I spray it I don't think I'm gonna spray it though because I don't know as long as I just don't grab that part of the sketchbook it should be fine this is another one of those crazy hair type of sketches this one was a random page when I uh, suddenly became super interested in ruby gloom in case anyone doesn't know what that is it's about a little girl that lives in a gloomish world but she's actually like sweet when everything kind of seems evil <laughs> i don't understand but that's what the cartoon was but that's why i drew this and then i drew marshall lee vampire king and then marceline i drew pudgy my cat this was from a princess book that I got. I drew Misery from Ruby Gloom. I was trying to do like my own version of Skullboy from Ruby Gloom. And then there's Ruby Gloom in my own version as well. That one is actually a pretty cute drawing. Cute. And then Skullboy. And then some other stuff just to like let... The creative thoughts flow. You just, you know, sit there and scribble things and doodle. That's what I did. And then my owl. And then some other guy. And I drew some ink. I mean, I blotted some ink here and just like spread it out just to like test out some different textures. I don't know what I was trying to do. And then this is another picture of Misery with like bright colors around her. 
I guess I was trying to make her happier. She was my favorite character <laughs> of that show. And then here's, I think, one of my friends. Hey! One of my friends, I tried drawing her. And she was just, like, shy and stuff. And this one, I really liked her dress because it was colorful. And then this was done with the oil pastels. As you can see, super brightly colored. And the reason I did like all kinds of different media in this sketchbook was because it's a multimedia sketchbook. But um, this sketchbook doesn't really hold that much. <laughs> So, if you use the multimedia sketchbooks, it's usually for like ink or pen at the time. I didn't know. So, don't judge me. I use whatever paper I want for anything. More sketches, other sketches, flowers, because I tried drawing flowers. Some other stuffs. More eyes, <laughs> because I drew a lot of eyes. This is like a duck type of thing that I drew. A mermaid, and I sucked at drawing a mermaid at that time. This was a house that we were helping this um, lady at, and I just decided, oh, well, let me try perspective, and it didn't turn out so good. That's my boyfriend's sketch. Another um, oil pastel with eye. <laughs> and that's it. So, like I said, most of my sketchbooks... Oh, there you go. Jan 2012, March 2012. That's how long it took me to finish the sketchbook so that's pretty much this sketchbook i know that some of my sketches in here aren't considered sketchbook sketches because it's a sketchbook and sketchbooks are meant to be messes and things where you just jot down ideas and you know sometimes people are a little sensitive to you know letting other people see their sketchbooks and I don't really care it I don't really mind I mean I should say because in the end of the day it's what makes you you all of those little messes those scratches the drawings that aren't considered drawings you know it's just a sketchbook it's not meant to be a finished product it's not meant to be sold it's a sketchbook and I think people today confuse it as to make it something that's supposed to be perfect and it's not it's just one huge mess that you create that you just jot down your ideas so that's what mine are so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video this sketchbook there will be a new one next month because i do them monthly if you enjoyed this video please leave a like if you liked it a little more than that go ahead and subscribe so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!